All right, just had Thanksgiving dinner. Going to make a tentacle creation curves beveling tapering curves video here. So here we go. First, I'm going to get rid of that square in the middle, X and delete. I'm going to go to top view 7 on the numpad, and I'm going to create a curve that's going to be the basic long shape of the tentacle. So add curve, bezier. Zoom in a little bit, a little bit, a little sideways. Go into edit mode with the tab key. And I'm just going to extrude E off these points here. E. E. And that'll be my basic tentacle shape. Now you can always adjust this at any point in the video. You can make that curve a little different if you want. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go tab into object mode. I'm going to give myself an object that's going to act like the beveling object. So I'm going to go to curve again. And this time I'm just going to keep it simple. Go right to circle. And I'm going to move that circle off to the side. And I'm going to hit S to scale it. And scale it down a little bit. There we go. Now, right off the bat, I can already get this going and uh, make this sort of into a tentacle. So we'll show you the pipe stage. We'll right click this to select it. I'm going to go over to the data tab. And then the data tab, what I can do is just go right here to where it wants a bevel object. And I'm going to select the pebble object to be the circle. And what it does is it basically sweeps the circle along that curve. And that's the mesh that would be generated if I ended up, you know, making this permanent and converting this curve to a mesh. So you can see right now it's basically a pipe. Um, if you wanted to close the pipes off, I know somewhere here there's fill caps, so you can close it off. And there's some other features here you can look at, right, later on. Now, what we want to do is we don't want our tentacle to stay the same thickness the whole way. So the next part of this is talking about the taper object. I'm going to make a curve that controls the thickness of this shape along the path. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it start sort of big and then gradually get smaller till it's almost nothing at the end. So here we go. I'm in object mode again. I'm going to add another curve. The way this works is uh, top-down view is great with the y-axis pointing straight up because when I add this curve and let's just move it up there it is you'll see that this curve has a dot that's the origin now the origin along the y-axis pointing upwards is gonna act like the zero point so the higher the curve like this points high up on the y-axis then the thicker it's gonna be at that point and as the curve drops down in the y height and approaches the zero point here it's going to become nothing so I'm going to go into edit mode and just edit this curve a bit I'm going to take this point right click it hit G to grab I'm going to move it up I'm going to take this point hit G to grab it move it up I'm going to extrude with E and move it down here E to extrude maybe a little thicker again E to extrude and this time I'm gonna get it pretty close to the zero point now if you want to make sure it's at the zero point you could pop this open and look at the numbers right compare them I'm just gonna eyeball this one the other thing I can do is just in object mode move it right along that grid line and I can sort of see yeah not bad it goes down to zero and that's gonna be what they call the taper curve so all I do now in my view over here is I select the taper object and it's actually the second or the Bezier curve was the name of this thing I was working on here okay Bezier curve and whoops somehow I've messed up let's undo that I've got the wrong thing selected select your tentacle curve I've already got the bevel object as a circle and now set the taper object as the curve and there you go and you can see you've got the tentacle object. This is great for a whole bunch of different shapes that follow a curve and change thickness along the way. Okay, really good. Now, one thing we can do here to make this even better is at this point, you can go back to this curve if you want, go into edit mode, and you can still edit points, right? Higher up off the Y axis. Let's just go to top down view here. High up on the Y axis, thicker, right? lower down smaller and so what we can do is we can basically fiddle with the points you know you can make this look a lot of different ways all right so it looks good 
And one thing to keep in mind also is what you can do with your points is you can also go back and change the circle. So it doesn't have to be a circle, right? This example is a circle, but you can do neat things like go into edit mode with it. And I could change the shape to be a bit different. And you'll just see that just changing the shape like this, if that's the shape that's now being swept across, I know I'm spending too much time on this one here, something like that, you can see that that's now the shape that gets splined out, and I got some sort of like lizard tail, right? Or some sort of eel. Getting creative with this, and you know, after seeing a bunch of people do similar examples, you can see how this is a very easy way to create different kind of shapes. That's the tentacle example. It's a very classic about beveling along a curve with a taper object. Oops. There it is. Beveling along a curve with a taper object. Thanks for watching.